2025 aspirants so we are just left with 20 days for the big day that is 16th and 17th of April when we are going to write our KSA 2025 examination which will determine our like which college we are going to join right so students at this point of time it is not only important to work hard but also you should work smartly right so you have to do those chapters from which 80 percent of the questions will be asked right so in this video i am going to tell you do or die chapters for physics chemistry maths and bio so if you haven't started your preparation or you are in midway somewhere you should be first focusing on these chapters okay so i'll be giving you the list i want all of you to take a screenshot or note down it and start your preparation with these chapters first okay so i'll be telling you for both pu2 and pu1 let's see so this will help you to score 150 plus okay these chapters yes so for chemistry i can say you that all the 10 chapters will be equally important now you can say that ma'am what is this you have given all the chapters then how it is do or die but students please listen that in chemistry so many chapters have been deleted right so that automatically increases the weightage of these chapters right so that is why you have all the chapters from where you can expect five to six questions and i think these chapters the first you can see up to this okay so four questions are also if it is asked that is more than enough to get a very good rank right so these are your do or, do, do or die chapters I can say after that these are also where you can expect four questions so please do not miss any chapter in chemistry PU2 so at least from PU2 46 questions will be asked and from PU1 almost 14 questions will be asked so you can easily focus on this 46 questions because you have just written your PU2 exam you must have remembered all this concept so just do more practice on these chapters okay so for chemistry definitely there is no chapter which should be skipped at this point of time but still if you want to do top five chapters then these are the list okay next coming to uh, PU1 syllabus so here definitely you can do selective study so these chapters are the one where I'm putting star these are the chapters that you should be doing definitely okay chemical bonding you can easily expect three questions equilibrium redox reactions okay and then we have hydrocarbons okay these are the most important chapters so if you haven't done anything please do at least chemical bonding equilibrium and redox reactions clear now let's move to our next subject that is physics so in physics also you can see, expect 45 questions from pu2 and 15 questions from pu1 so here if i see the list you can see those chapters which i have highlighted in yellow color okay these are your do or die chapters one two three four and five okay so i'm giving you five chapters that you must do it is not that other chapters you should leave but it is like if you haven't done anything and you want to do the most important chapters then these are so one two three four and five so you can expect uh six plus five plus five and four nine right so almost 5 plus 5, 10, 16, 16 plus 4, 20, 25. So almost 25 and some of you, if you 30 plus marks, you can easily get from these 5 to 6 chapters, right? So please focus on these chapters first. Now if I go for pu1 syllabus in physics so no chapter is that much important so there are you can see all the chapters carry one mark weightage except for this chapter that is system of particles and rotational motion but again this is a very lengthy chapter so if you have time go for this chapter or else choose any five six chapters whichever you are comfortable i think you can do thermodynamics because it is somewhat overlapping with your chemistry you can do next easy chapter that is gravitation right you can do units and measurements okay you can do laws of motion motion in a plane motion in a straight line so whichever you find easy select five to six easy chapters okay whichever you find easy next we'll go to maths the subject to which all of us have a lot of fear but here also we have certain chapters so you can expect 43 questions from pu2 and 17 questions from pu1 so what are the chapters that are very very important here so first one relation function determinants continuity and differentiability application of derivative application of integrals vector algebra 3d geometry and you have here 
probability okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so eight chapters are almost there but still here you can select the top five chapters whichever you find easy so if you do determinants matrices also you can do these are relatable chapters right so whichever chapters you find especially integrals are very important a lot of questions will be asked from here so please practice integrals thoroughly okay so yellow color chapters are your do or die chapters okay but I have given you other chapters also so that you can have an understanding. Now in PU1, relation function is there, sequence and series is there and limits and derivatives are there. So you can see that in PU maths, basically there is an overlapping. So if you have studied relation and function for 12th, then you can do this one. Similarly, if you have studied limits and derivatives, probability, statistics, then uh, in your, then you have trigonometric functions. So if you have studied the basic, the 12th uh, maths properly, you will be able to do these chapters as well now coming to your next subject that is biology so high weightage topics are only we have f six here so that is sexual reproduction in flowering plants molecular basis of inheritance principles of inheritance and variation organisms and population human health and human reproduction okay so these questions or these chapters can easily give you three to four questions you can expect from each of these chapters okay next coming to medium weightage so first you have to complete the high weightage topics medium weightage you have reproductive health biotechnology principles and processes biotechnology and its applications microbes in human welfare biodiversity and conservation similarly in low weightage of pu2 you have ecosystem and evolution and if i talk about PU1, high weightage, we have two chapters, biological classification, body fluids and circulation. And in medium weightage, we have these many lists. You can take a screenshot or note down them. Okay. And in low weightage, we have these all chapters. Okay. So, I want all of you can take a just screenshot of this one. Okay. So students, I have given you the overall weightage of all the chapters and I have highlighted the high weightage topics. So please do these chapters first, okay? Then I have given you other chapters also. Once you're done with the high weightage topics, you have an idea which chapter you can take next, okay? So that is the thing. And students, we have to get very good rank in our KSET examination. So if you are ready to put this 100% effort, please put a hashtag that you will work hard in your KSET examination, okay? All the very best if you have any doubts please put in the comment section i will definitely address and see you soon in the next session